Hi, this is Vilma. Whoa, it's hot. I'm getting ready to do another interview. So that's why I'm here. Yay. Weather's changing. Back in a jacket. Welcome to Vilma Live in LA. It's going to be another great edition, another great episode. Fairly soon, we are going to have Bren God Hits right here in my car. We are doing the interview. Yay! I heard you were a dancer. Okay, Vilma live in LA and we are back in right here, Marina Del Rey area. I just love this spot. We're doing an interview with Brent God Hits. I actually saw him filming and I'm going, wow, this guy I would really love to interview. So guess what? He is right here. Right here. What's up Yay. everybody? How's it going? How's it going? Uh, wow. It's going well. It's going well. You know, thank you for inviting me uh -huh. to your show. It's, it's amazing amazing <laughs> meeting you you seem like an amazing person thank you and you know being in la for a few months it's just it's a transition it's a, yes. it's a transition but it's a blessing it's yes. a blessing at the same time wow okay so i'm gonna just shift this a little because i want people to see you Perfect. yeah so you're in the music industry correct correct how did you get into the music and what inspired you? I first started doing music for four years ago. I would say four years ago. And uh, what inspired me really was one of my biggest inspirations, Chris Brown. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, also Usher was a, a big inspiration on me as well. So, you know, Michael Jackson, number one. Oh, and, yeah. You know, who can't forget about Michael? You know, he has classics. So I started doing music and I told myself, you know, instead of singing these people's songs, you know, how about I start doing my own type of music and dropping my, releasing my own type of, uh, you know, vibes and things like that. So after that, you know, I dropped my first song, which, you know, it's been out for probably like three or four years now. And uh, I started slowly to transition into my own style, starting to find who I am and what type of music I sound good making, you know, things like that. Plus when you actually mature in music, you also transition and you change. Correct. So correct. yeah, as That's you grow, correct. it changes. That is correct. Yes. <laughs> Drowning underwater, I think I need some damn hell And I've been upside down like I'm hangman Losing body parts, no saving Pass me smoke or drink, cause lately I've been caving To Los Angeles. To Los Angeles, yeah. Okay, why? Uh, I moved to Los Angeles. Number one, this is where the music scene is at. It's the heart of the music. So I moved out here because I knew I like, you know, I'm I want to make it in music. So I need to move where the music scene is at. You know, coming from Chicago, you know, it's not so much big, you know, but it's still we still have a you know some type of vibe and out there, but. I moved to LA specifically so I could be near the music mostly, most most definitely. And just be around the industry more and go more shows and just do things 
that happen every day out here, you know, I love to attend those type of things. You, you know, that is so true because you have to be in people's faces. You do. You have to you be know? seen. You have to you be have seen. You have to be seen. Swim team. Hello. I'm bored right now. Can we FaceTime? Cello. She got a body on her, but it ain't mine. Can we make a decision, accept it for what it is? I don't care about your past, I don't care about what you did. Favorite color yellow, let's slow it down for the night. Rocking heavy metal, performing under the light. You can be my dinner, I got a big appetite. Far from a beginner, I'm coming through for a bite. Favorite color yellow, let's slow it down for the night. Rocking heavy metal, performing under the light. You can be my dinner, I got a big appetite. Took three days. Took three days. Three days, three days to get to LA. Yeah, three days to get to LA. So, uh, you know, it, it, it was a long drive, you know, me, you know, just coming down here three days mm -hmm. was kind of, it's really tough. Really yeah. tough. Yeah. 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 So, You've got a lot of nice shorts on social media. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, how do you come up with these ideas? Uh, sometimes I do a little bit of brainstorming. Uh, also, sometimes I do a little bit of free, freestyling. Like, you know, I see some a dope scenery. You know, how about I just try to shoot something mm -hmm. and see what it comes out to be and things like that. I try not to overthink whatever I do because once you start overthinking, you, you mess up a lot of things, you know. So I just kind of like go with the flow sometimes, you know, going with the flow, being in the moment helps me a lot versus just like brainstorming. So I try to keep it in the middle most times, yeah. balancing out. Yeah. I'm all about balance. Yes, yes, so true. Okay, we'll go back to your music. What's the first song you ever wrote and kind of released your favorite? My first song I wrote, my favorite song I would say would be 365. Okay. 365, my favorite song ever being released because it kind of gave me an opportunity to tap into something different. And I started to figure out like, man, this is what I love doing. I love making this type of music, which is a pop rock vibe. So it was exciting to do. The, the process of it was very exciting. Okay, so then I'm gonna put you in this one. 365, can you give us a little bit of like the chorus or? Three, six, five days. So maybe party all night, yeah. No babies had summer for us. Go crazy, go crazy, go crazy. Wow. That's how it goes, you know. Yeah. And you know, three, six, five being released, I seen the numbers increase. It was, you know, the numbers on the song was crazy when I seen it released. Natural, all organic, and. It just impressed me. So at that point, I'm like, you know, how about I start making more music like this? Because this is what the people like, you know, in certain instance, you have to not just put yourself in your shoes. You have to also put yourself in the people's shoes. What would they like? What you know what I mean? Like? So I try to do that. Yeah. It's like if you sing something and they can sing it immediately right mm -hmm. after you. Absolutely. That's a hit. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's you just got to make something catchy. It's, it, it's kind of like 20 percent of what you like. 80% of what they want. You know, you kind of just got to be smart. Yeah. What's up, y'all? What we fear of doing most is mostly what we need to be doing. So with that being said, don't be afraid and just do it. Don't forget that. Peace. What's up, y'all? Always remember that positive anything is better than negative nothing. Don't forget that. Peace. So... Walk us through your songwriting process. Ooh, okay. So I have trouble explaining this sometimes it's because right. it's okay. So my songwriting process really, it's hard for me to explain because it's easy for me. And for some people, they're like, man, how do you do that? So for me, really, I just, I, I have Bosey headphones. I've been having them for years now. You know, they're a big, uh, important, it's an important mm -hmm. product of, you know, of mine. I usually put my headphones on, I turn my music up loud, and you know, I like to start with the flow of a song, you know, get the, and when you get the flow down, everything, everything else happens once you get the flow down, so once I get the flow down, I start writing my lyrics, I start with the verse, then I, sometimes I start with the hook as well, you know, it just depends, you know, yeah. 
and then it, it flows. It all comes together. And yeah. it's been easy for me. So Very you easy. have the beat going. Beat going and, and I'm in my headphones. I'm just living in a different world. I'm living in a whole different world, you know? Music takes me to a whole nother different dimension, you know? Uh, it takes me to different places. I feel like I'm traveling when I'm listening to music, so. Yeah, I, I can totally agree with that. I can identify with it because it just, it's a whole different world and it's music, as they say, is the universal language. Absolutely, absolutely it is. I believe that, I, t I definitely believe that. And I believe that music is like your escape. Mm -hmm. It's your escape. When you feel like you can't go anywhere, music will take you somewhere. Swim team. Hello, I'm bored right now. Can we FaceTime? Cello, she got a body on her, but it ain't mine. Can we make a decision? Accept it for what it is. I don't care about your past, I don't care about what you did. So now that you're here, your advice to young people just starting out? Just starting out, I would say stay focused, stay motivated, surround yourself around the right crew, around the right people. Make sure you have the right team as well. And uh, consistency is big. I would say consistency is big. Stay away from negative things, negative people. Negative things slow you down in life. So wow. just stay okay. focused. Good. All right, so just three more things I would like to ask. Um, what is your favorite quote in life? My favorite quote in life, yeah. that's a good one. Uh, my favorite quote in life, basically, my favorite quote would be, let nothing get to you because letting things get to you will slow you down from your path. Mm. So that's one of my favorite quotes in life. and. Uh, I kind of just stick with it through my life and I've been going through it, you know, because life, it continues going, life doesn't stop, you know, so let nothing get in your way of getting to where you need to be in your life, basically. Well, that's good. Your most inspirational person? Person, my most, artist-wise or overall? Overall, that's been, you know, kind okay. of a really good for your life. Overall, I would say, um, I would say Usher, you know, and I have a couple. I would say Usher, T-Pain, Justin Bieber, he's he's very big. Um, 
and I have a couple of other ones I just can't think right now um Trey Songs is a big inspiration Ed Sheeran Ed Sheeran's big he's big he's major and yeah okay and finally where would you like to see yourself 5 10 15 20 years from now big house I want to be rich I want to have my own yacht you know I want to have my own land things like that I just want to be wealthy. I want to take my money, invest in the right things and things like that, and be able to pass it down to my family, my generational, you know, people. Wonderful. Okay, so let them know where they can find you. You can find me on all platforms at Bryn Got Hits. B-R-E-N-G-O-T-H-I-T-S. Yay! Peace, y'all. Swim team. I don't like nobody, I barely like my damn self Drowning underwater, I think I need some damn help And I've been upside down like I'm hangman Losing body parts, no saving Pass me smoke or drink Cause lately I've been caved in Ooh yeah, three, six, five days So maybe party all night, yeah No babies, had some for us Go crazy, go crazy, go crazy TV screen, can't watch no more Hopped in the shower, feeling fresh and clean I gotta show more Cause I've been upside down like I'm hangman Losing body parts, no saving Pass me smoke or drink Cause lately I've been caved in Ooh yeah, three, six, five days So maybe party all night So happy.
happy we had him right here on Vilma 11 LA. In the meantime, you guys, you know, yeah, keep spreading the love, kindness, and being positive. Yep, embrace the world. So from my heart to yours, I always give you a whole lot of things. Love you and take care and see you soon. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button and do comment. Again, bye now. Goma, live in LA.